Humanity has always been weird. In our universe, everyone relies on warfare to get their point across. That doesn't mean that diplomacy is a foreign concept to anybody, but it is rare for things to be settled in a diplomatic way. The humans, however, revel in diplomacy. Everything they do internally or externally is done in a diplomatic fashion. A star says wants to secede? Good, here are the forms for trade deals and most importantly the ones for official recognition by the Terran Alliance. That is unheard of in any other empire in this vast universe. That doesn't mean wars don't happen. These small star system empires sometimes get a bit unruly and declare war. These things tend to be resolved rather quickly with minimum casualty on civilians. I know what you are asking. What is a civilian? Well the long and short of it is these are humans that belong to the respective factions but are not participating in battle. And no that doesn't mean they are only compromised of offspring. In fact, the majority of civilians are auxiliary workers, from farmers all the way to diplomats. And yes, the diplomats aren't high-ranking military staff like ours. They are basically office workers and have zero command over the few wars the humans get into. So of course, when the Frax were thinking of expanding their empire, the solar systems that belonged to the Terrans looked mighty enticing to take. A formal declaration of war was sent, and the human diplomats always begged the Frax to reconsider, but they refused. After the declaration had been fully accepted, the Frax started setting up their border systems into staging grounds for the imminent invasion. After preparations were almost complete, a ray of matter collided with the planets, turning everything and everyone on it into iron sculptures and nobody knew why. That is until the humans offered the Frax a reasonable surrender agreement. The Frax accepted, as the horror of what had just happened sunk in. The Frax agreed to give the Terran Alliance the worlds they coated in iron, which they set out to turn into so-called Memorial Worlds. On one of those worlds, I happened to come across some Terran diplomats. After a few drinks, I just had to ask why the Alliance responded in such a horrifying fashion. They told me, When your opposition only understands the language of violence, it is the best course of action to make them understand that you are a lot more fluent in it.